When I think of life up to Downton Abbey, I mean, there's certainly a lot of BBC costume drama in your past. And, sure. And it seems like, gosh, you could have been on that track and, and been very comfortable there. Yep. And it's kind of brilliant, the choices that you've made. Like each role you've taken on, it's almost like the next one, you're going to shatter people's expectations once again. <laughs> and even to the point of leaving the UK and coming to the United States. I actively was looking to do as wide a variety of things as anybody would let me do. Right. And yeah, the, the opportunity came up to, to come over here um, to, do a, to do a play here initially uh, in New York. Right, The Heiress, right? Right, Jessica uh, Chastain, with Jessica yeah. Chastain and David Strathairn. And that in itself was an incredible education of, of just, you know, the heiress taking place in a Downton Abbey-ish kind of world, um, but a slightly more roguish character than I'd played for, for the previous three years. And so it was sort of beginning the step away from that. And, um, and then I got a movie that shot in Brooklyn. It was Scott Frank's film, A Walk Among the Tombstones, with right, Liam Neeson, right. and a very dark film. And that was the beginning of it, really. That's that, that was the first spark of somebody being, yeah, being open to the idea and like, oh, I've never seen you do that. Let's see you try, rather than I've never seen you do that. So you can't. I don't think you can do that. Right. You know. Well, that's which is the, the thing. end of imagination. That's like, but I, I can. Yeah. You know, and any actor out there will tell you, like, I mean, if they're being honest with themselves, not every role, but like a lot of a lot of roles, they'll look at and be like, I could do this, you know, and you know, I, I'd done a fair number, as you say, I'd done a fair number of, of sort of period costume drama because we make a lot of that kind of thing right. in England. But, you know, I'd grown up watching American movies and, and obviously, you know, we're, we're very influenced by the, the American culture over there. Um, and particularly the film thing was, for one reason or another, eluding me over there. But once I came over here and that door was open to me and the exploration began, it was like, oh, now let's see you do, you know, the psychopathic military guy from Kentucky. And it's like, oh, right. cool. <laughs> I've never done that before. And, you know, it was not something predictable. I, and, you know, when we came over to the States, I didn't, you know, I didn't have this grand plan. I, and I didn't have these roles laid out, you know, for me or my wife to say, oh, we're going over here and we're going to do this, then we're going to do this, then we're going to do this. And that will lead to the, like, yeah. Just this sort of vast openness, um, which I suppose is, it's the American way, isn't it?